Hello there and welcome back for the next chapter in this whole Pro Tools tutorial madness. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about frequency analyzation. Uh, I mentioned this in the last class, uh, frequency analyzers. Maybe you are EQing something and you can't figure out exactly what frequency you need to dial down. Well, I'm going to um, show you something that works really well and it's free. Okay, check this out. If you go to bluecataudio.com, um, right here, there's something called audio analysis. Again, this is bluecataudio.com, audio analysis. They have a whole bunch of uh, products, which are basically plugins for Pro Tools. Uh, what you want is Blue Cat's Frequency Analyst. Um, it's free, and it's basically an insert. Remember what inserts are. Uh, it's basically a plugin that you insert on a track, and then you play it. You play the track and then you bring this up and it'll show you what the frequencies are that you're hearing. Um, it's Windows, it's Mac, it's everything you need here. So let me sh and um, let me show you exactly how it works. Just like those cooking shows, I already have it installed. Um, what we have here is a 60 hertz hum. So going into this, we already know what it is. Let's hear what this horrible sound sounds like. Ah, yes. So once again, we go into the inserts right here and go down to Blue Cat Audio. There it is, Blue Cat Frequency Analyst. Boom. There it is. So now what this shows you is basically the volume of the audio. So it goes from negative 120 decibels to zero. And we all know what that means, distortion. And from 10 hertz to 22 kilohertz, well beyond the spectrum of what humans can hear. So what we've got is a 60 hertz hum. So we've got the insert inserted on the track and watch what happens when we play. Look at that right there. So if you look down here where it says, uh, it doesn't show you 60 hertz on the graph, but it does show you where 47 hertz is and where 100, where 100 hertz is. So if you look, um, 60 would be pretty much right in here. And if you look at the hum, this is what you get. Now you might ask yourself, hey, it's a 60 hertz hum. How come there's all these other frequencies going? Well, frequencies, actually have a resonance that basically sort of dissipate over its neighboring frequencies. So you're rarely going to get a frequency that is exactly say like 60 hertz or 100 hertz or 120 hertz and nothing else. Um, frequencies always affect other frequencies around them. That's why even though you can filter out frequencies like this, they do bleed into your audio, whether it's somebody speaking or even if it's something more up in the high range. Um, frequencies from one end of the spectrum do kind of seep in to frequencies at the other end of the spectrum. So this is why it's always important to record audio um, in an ideal situation and not depend on post-production to fix it. That being said, let's see what this sounds like uh, in the next video when we actually use the frequency analyst to pinpoint the troublesome frequency and use an EQ tool to boot it out of there. 